Greetings, friends. It's your host and hostess, Chris and Melissa. We find ourselves on a little adventure today in southern Utah. This is what? Leeds? Hmm, Silver Reef? I don't know. Yeah, we drove out here from I-15 through Silver Reef. It is like a 20-minute drive on an unpaved road. Yep. Anyway, check out this sweet canyon we're looking at. Magnificent. This is not what we came here for. Uh, we are heading to the Yant Flat Trailhead. As in, you ain't very flat. <laughs> it's more of a Grand Canyon than a flat place. <laughs> Man. Whew. Sketchy. This is a really cool spot. It's just like one of many random little pull-offs on this dirt road. But what a cool canyon. This is already the destination in and of itself. We didn't even come here for it. We don't know the name of this. Melissa, what are you naming this canyon? Oh really? Did yeah. you find it on the map? Yeah. Yankee Doodle pull out. We have begun the hike after a slight detour. P.S. I sat on a cactus <laughs> back there at Yankee Doodle Point and Melissa had to pick little pins out of my bare butt. Yep. <laughs> Pretty exciting. But uh, the trailhead was easy to find. Google Maps will take you right to it. You'll see um, space on either side of the road for parking. So from what we saw, there's not a sign marking it, so you gotta rely on your navigation. And then you just head south on this trail. That's why the dog was so excited. My sense is that this trail has just become a lot more popular just recently like I started hearing about it about a year ago and been thinking about coming to see it ever since um, Yant, Yant Flat also known as Candy Cliffs that's the Instagram friendly name people are using for it these days <laughs> I think it's just officially called Yant Flat when's the first time you heard about it Melissa I probably heard about it three years ago, but I grew up in St. George, so... Either, yeah, she grew uh, up near here, for crying out loud. Either uh, I was just living under a rock, or it became more popular in recent years. I mean, we've both been exploring Southern Utah whenever we can for the last five years. So, the fact that we're still digging up gems like this is honestly kind of nice. A little bit of a climb there, isn't it? Just a bit. <sighs> We're getting places. Yeah, I'm making it. Kind of the middle of nowhere, but still places. Here we go. It's getting cliffy now. <laughs> this is what we are after. Heck yeah. Bunch of sweet rocks. This is what Utah's all about. Just those layers of beautiful sandstone. Where do you think people hike? Do you think they hike all down in here? Maybe. It looks freaking gorgeous. I know. Yeah, I kind of want to walk down that way. Just a little bit of a steep walk there. Ooh. 
Oof. You ain't very flat at all, you ain't flat. <laughs> There's a long travel that goes. Oh, oh, I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just worked our way down this. Well, Melissa's still working on it. I'm at the bottom now. A little sketchy, but totally worth it. This is freaking magnificent, dude. Heck yeah. The stripes of color are just so cool. This is just, I don't know what to say. It's an artwork. Mother Nature is an artist. This is a painting. This is not real life. But it is real life. But it's mind blowing. Ah! Whew. Wow. Holy crap, I'm only. Very nice. I am surrounded by nature's beauty. Man, this is what life is all about. Being outside is so freaking good for the soul. Ah, the air is so fresh and tasty. All right, you don't need to just sit here staring at me as I talk about it. But obviously you can tell I'm impressed. It's always a good day when you find another cool hike here in Utah. I can just go in circles like this all day. What do you think, Melissa? Was it a worthwhile hike? Definitely. I don't think it was that hard, to be honest with you. Would it take us like an hour? Yeah. Like a half hour of driving, an hour of walking. Nothing too crazy other than climbing down these cliffs at the end. I feel like it was less than an hour to walk to here. Might have been even less than an hour. Not bad at all. Yeah. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'd do it for like sunrise, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. Sunset, whatever. Um, would it be a different view? We'd just hang out here for another hour and a half, it'll be sunset. We don't have time for that though. Look, you can even take a bath right here. Oh yeah. In nature's little tub. Gross. It might be gross, but you know what? This is a freaking vortex of mystical energy. It's kind of a deep little pit. You really could take a bath in it, but yeah, it's gross. <laughs> Man. Why are rocks so cool? I don't know, man. One more thing for your information. We are here in mid-March, which is pretty much ideal. Just pay attention to the weather, because if there's recent rain, it's going to be bad. There could even be snow this time of year. And uh, there is a sign at the beginning of this road that warns that the road is impassable in wet or stormy conditions. So just be smart about it. Um, the summer is just going to be so brutally hot. So it's still doable in the early morning. But very early. It gets it gets like 90 degrees by about 8 39 o'clock yeah yeah you're gonna want to start this hike at like 5 a.m before the dawn and happens. uh any later than that you're gonna be freaking roasting in the 100 degree weather and it just saps the moisture out of you we're getting dehydrated here in march and it's like 50 degrees <sighs> look at this view yeah 
Wowzers. You want to go back down again? No. <laughs> no, not.